Hello, boys and girls. My name is Otto C, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, where last time we managed to finish off uh, this oxygen setup, which is a bit more complicated because uh, we need to uh, use salt water as input. So we have to desalinate that first. And currently, we still have a bit of an issue that. Uh, too much uh, oxygen here where we need the uh, where we need the the hydrogen to be that's why our um, hydrogen generators break we also have not enough power because this one is dormant so we are currently relying on hamster wheels and um, the hydrogen generators um, but we want to proceed further um, once we have uh, this set up working um, we will produce more air than we currently need so we can actually plan um, for more beds here so uh, let's just add another eight here um, and then Oh, we will have the wall there. And another door there. And then looking at the temperatures, we can go quite a bit down. So eventually, I would assume this power wire um, will go down here and over eventually but for now we will keep it where it is and then here on this side we have an oil well and I think that one is a cool slush guys so um, We can get more salt water out of uh, this one. Um, however, there it is cool. So, what we need to do is um, we want to have an oil well sitting there for that we need water so we will bring in the water from here um, and we will follow the existing lines for the gas pipe the power line least more let's bring it we can bring it up to here I think um, there we probably then let's go down somewhere here dig all this out dig this out and have this like so then over on this side we have a bit of uh, of iron and 
that iron we need uh, there we have a large patch we need that to get um, the, the necessary steel um, uh, for our needs um, and then the next step is refinement we need an uh, oil refinery actually let's make this one up here um have a door there then we will have airflow tiles ladder going up here and there we will have another door and we will have a bit of a room up here that we dig out and here because these will also generate um, um I will generate uh, natural gas so we can use that um, and bring that in here uh, into the same line there because we also have um, different gases in here we need to connect before the filter and that means we can connect the water like so and that's the intake there we need to have the oil um, which we have another pipe going here this one goes down here and here we will have a pump like that and connect right then all we need is power Um, we want to deconstruct that one and replace it with a bridge and we will have another bridge there and break this one. Then we can pull up the heavy watt wire to here and then maybe have uh, some, some transformers um, doing this thing here. Okay, 
here we made more progress, so let's mop this up. And once we have cleared this water out, we can actually plug that hole then and get rid of uh, this layer here and have uh, the petroleum generators here. I think we will only need two of them. But I think there is enough work to be done. Okay, we still have too much uh, uh, hydrogen in here. I mean, what we can do is let's put a filter on there. Um, and then let's break these and we can have the output here And then we can actually um, connect this like that. And if we set this filter to hydrogen, then we should be good and uh, everything else will end up uh, here and we no longer need to uh, fix our generators. But, um, as so often, we need to give our small colony a bit of time to get the work done. They made quite a bit of progress here on this side. Still not completed though. Uh, then I think what we need is uh, having a transformer here. Um, and then one there. Because these two uh, plus the pump that requires quite a bit of, of power. So we cannot uh, power everything uh, through the same line. Uh, we need to dig out here a bit and then from here we can pull the power through here for the pump and the well and seeing that our polluted water creates a bit of a polluted air it's not that great let's see if we can dump that somewhere and uh, i am thinking let's do it here here we have a bit of uh, space for uh, polluted water. Here on this side, it works if we have power. It does not work if we don't have power, um, as expected. And on here, 
I'm chipping away on the floor there so that we can uh, pull in the next layer here. Um, here we have normal floor under the door. And then we have this going that way. And then we can have petroleum generators. One, two. Connect that that way. And then here again, we need a bridge. Okay, we can in that case finish this off. Then here we will have a smart battery as well uh, to control these two. And we only have dealt with the input, not the output. So let's pull that down here then. Um, we need a bridge over the water line. and have it going in there. And I also extended our farm a bit uh, so that uh, when we have more dupli duplicates that we also can feed them. Then I guess uh, we will first look at uh, what we have in here and then we will let the duplicates do a bit more work uh, towards this setup. This setup here is now all co also complete and we have the first bit of water delivered here. Uh, we also finished that one. Uh, we are still missing the smart battery and the connection. Uh, but I think uh, before we can actually dive into uh, uh, creating petroleum, we need a bit more power uh, to kickstart the whole thing. And I think we are in a pretty good shape. Looking at oxygen, looking pretty good. Even though we only have intermittently um, power to create air. And then I think next time we can um, we can actually think about adding new duplicates. But that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed it and join me next time for more oxygen not included. Until then, goodbye.